Welcome to the wonderful world of travel. I'm John Haggins. I'm in this magical land, two great islands. One is Madeira and the other is Tenerife. It has great vistas and great waterfalls, great activities, great cuisine. You will not believe within the next half hour these wonderful experiences. We're on our way to the Tele National Park in Tenerife. This is the highest point in all of Spain. It's so exciting. This is Tenerife, one of the Canary Islands located in the middle of the Atlantic off the west coast of Africa. The Tele Mountains are truly close to heaven. I'm above the clouds, reaching for the stars. Behind me is Tele, the highest mountain in Spain approaching 13,000 feet. It's the volcano which formed this island of Tenerife in Spain's Canary Islands off the coast of Senegal. These are rock formations from the Tele Mountains eruptions which formed the island and they stand tall to witness the existence of the island. When the conquest was finished, this was a mixed enterprise. The uh, Queen and King promoted the conquest of Canary Islands, but the ones who financed the, con the expenses of the islands were bankers and traders, most of them from Genoa and from uh, Belgium and Holland nowadays, Flemish countries. Instead, they got from the conqueror the best plots and the water. Buenos días, welcome to the Parque Rural de Teno. Teno, which is the name of this massive and Anaga, which is across the north to the opposite side. Remember that Tenerife looks like a duck, the beck is Anaga, are like small islands within Tenerife. So islas más antiguas, ¿no? Geológicamente más antiguas. The geology is que el resto by difference much older than the rest of the island. What I said to you, the difference between national park and a rural park is that there's no human activity related with national parks and there is human activity related with the rural parks. So there's always been people living and working in a place like this. We have a uh, record, the number of visitors come into this place and uh, apparently about a million people come to this place in a year. Este lugar, Masca, este pueblo, es, es visitado por más de medio millón de, de personas al año. More than half a million people come to visit Masca, which means that uh, after Teide, it might have been the uh, most visited place on the island. Great. I'll let you know why we call them indigenous because the origin of these scripts is Europe. Eh, ahora, ahora se lo, te lo, te lo eh, let us know. Eh, nosotros nos basamos en, en, en dos eh, cuestiones eh, fundamentales. Eh, la calidad y their own grapes, mm -hmm. because they have, as I said the, uh, before, their own grapes here. There are several wine vineyards throughout the island. This wine is made with an autochthonal grape from here, from Canary Island. It's called uh, Marmajuelo. There are only uh, 6,000 bottles in all year. It's very, very fruity. It uh, smells uh, passion fruit and it's very soft. It's pure white wine. Typical cuisine is fresh in five-star dining. Tenerife is a magical island because of its typography and its people.
Hotel Botanico, where I stayed, was restful after a full day of touring. This is the Oriental Spa at the Hotel Botanico. My name is Christina and we are here in the Oriental Spa Garden. It's the Beauty and Wellness Center from the Hotel Botanico. The Oriental Spa Garden is an oasis of well-being and relaxation. It's built into the gardens from the Hotel Botanico. Uh, between palm trees and the views over Mount Tede and over the sea, you offer a very relaxed ambience, a very silent ambience to recuperate. Also, during our different treatments, we have special canarian treatments, also fantasy treatments with chocolate or with fruit essences. We treat you with vanilla cream or with papaya essences and you can enjoy a very typical massage with volcanic stones. We are also offering a wide range of different oriental massages. For example, here in this cabin, you can have the Thai massage. Then we offer the Sen Shiatsu massage. We offer Reiki, Ayurveda massage, and a special massage coming from Thailand with uh, uh, aromatic herbs. That means the client lays down and they put on small bags filled with oils and aromatic herbs on the back. The bags are hot and they're doing like a strong massage with the hot um, herbal bags on the back. Dinner in restaurant Regulo where they specialize in seafood and fine dining. Dos gardenias para ti, con ella quiero decir, te quiero. Abaco is a club-like atmosphere. From the moment you enter Abaco, you feel you've entered someone's home. Abaco has a club-like atmosphere with its original furniture and accessories and it's one of the most talked about trendy places in Tenerife that everybody's talking about. There is nothing in this world could ever change the Hay que tener cuidado con este tipo this is truly heaven, so I've got a lot to smile about. At times we may be crying. This is an unbelievable sight, I can't believe my eyes. There isn't much here that you can say except unbelievable. Five words, unbelievable. Wow, this is truly heaven, way above the clouds. This is the pinnacle of man's existence. What a fabulous vista, clouds, mountains, lush mountains. This has been an incredible experience, visiting these two magical islands in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Remember, get up, get out, and travel. I'm John Haggins, the Globetrotter, and don't forget to come to Madeira and Tenerife. I hope to return to this heavenly place to reflect on my experience on the Canary Islands. It was a heavenly experience that I shall never forget. Tenerife is a very special and magical place. Until next week, I'm John Haggins, the Globetrotter. Remember, get up, get out, and travel. Hope to see you then. So long for now.